the, the biggest single issue, I would say, for the Internet, not from a policy perspective, I'm concerned about policy, but, uh, but in terms of technology and deployment, is making it, in fact, global. Um, if you look at the, uh, a, a cable map or something like that, a uh, you know, map of communication paths in, in the world, the Internet goes everywhere, but not necessarily with a whole lot of bandwidth, and often with very high delay. So the, uh, the very fast, very low delay part of the Internet is in a uh, surprisingly narrow stripe that goes from Eastern Asia and Australia and New Zealand up through North America and across Western Europe. Uh, then as you go into South America, Africa, Central Asia, other places like that, yes, you can get there, maybe. Uh, but uh, I, to give you two examples, uh, I was uh, not all that long ago in Kabul. And I woke up at 4 in the morning because the lights came on in my room. And I realized that I had electricity. And that meant that I could maybe try to get on the Internet and go get my mail. And the uh, round trip delay from Kabul back to my mail server, um, it's a satellite link. And so it was on the order of two-thirds of a second, just base delay. And it turned out that it was actually more on the order of a second to two seconds just getting a packet there and back uh, because everybody else in the city woke up and started using it too. Um, and I mean, there are a surprisingly large number of parts of the world that deal with that still. Um, and that, you know, we need better infrastructure going through Central Asia, Africa, and, and South America, and, you know, islands in the South Pacific and so on and so forth. Um, also, the way the Internet is deployed. Now, I'm giving you an example that's, in fact, four, 10 years old. So it may not be this way right now. But I was in Malawi in 2004 and uh, uh, gave a talk. And then afterwards, the, these two guys came up to me and said, oh, you tell me that loss is a problem? Uh, if I drop a packet, that's a bad thing. Let me tell you how we deploy our network. And that was that they had radio microwave that went from village to village. And it would sometimes sag below 64 kilobits, which they thought was fast, and sometimes run above that and kind of go back and forth. And while they were trying to deliver a 64 kilobit service, so when it got going too fast, they just dropped the excess packets. And well, that has, does bad things to TCP and just about any internet service that happens. Um, and, you know, so I had to explain to them, well, you know, here there, there are better ways to do that. Um, now, what I'd like to believe is that they're now at least at megabit and maybe 10 megabit between villages. That would be a good thing. Uh, microwave services, yeah, they, they work. Um, but it would be better if we could get fiber in there. Okay. So a lot of this, getting, getting the Internet really wide, it has to do with the infrastructure and going into... Uh, interesting places. I mean, there, there's a gal here this week uh, that you might be interested to talk with, uh, but her, her name's Nalini Elkins. Uh, she is trying to deploy internet services to villages in Uganda uh, and asking, well, how can we do that? Now, I've pointed her to previous work in Uganda using the, uh, the cell phone system, but, um, you know, it, She'd really like to see microwave village to village or something like that. A lot, a lot of it really has to do with infrastructure and making it work well.